I believe I have been getting fresh illumination and insights that are just going to transform our lives because you know ultimately victory will not come through the laying on of hands or getting a prayer for, from somebody. Now God works through those ways, but ultimate victory will come as we learn who we are in Christ and we learn to walk in the freedom that is already ours in Christ. And the email you were referring to, Sue, uh, someone I'd never heard of before, but they read the article and she said she had read other articles that has been picked up by Charisma News. I just had one, it's on my blog and it was picked up by Charisma News. I called it learning to think critically without quenching the spirit. And uh, so she was responding, she said to my, she really was blessed by my writings about how to uh, recognize false prophets, false prophecy and so on, which, which this, this had a section called, I called it five tests uh, of the spirit in, in relation to 1 John 4, 1, where we're told to test the spirits. But what she said was, she was asking me for advice. She's looking for healing and deliverance in her mind and emotions. And she said she went to an apostolic center. She didn't say where she was from, but she said she went to an apostolic center. And uh, it sounds like they're very legalistic. She said they required people to sign in that they had attended church. And, uh, and, and, and they claimed that the power of God was working. And, you know, I'm not here sitting in judgment because I don't even know who it is or anything. And maybe it was. But anyway, she said she was prayed for and she said, I, I fell to the floor. She said, but I didn't get any deliverance. She said, I'm still tormented by dreams and other kinds of oppressive attacks against her mind and emotions. And she was wondering what to do next and where to go from here. And I really believe with all of my heart, the answer is we have to get into God's word for ourselves and find out who we are in Christ. Find out what God has already done for us and the freedom that he has purchased for us in Christ and how to appropriate and how to walk out the freedom that is already ours in Jesus Christ. You know, yes, we can receive healing, we can receive deliverance, we can receive help through praying for one another, going to a meeting or something, but ultimately, consistent, ongoing victory is only going to come as we learn to walk in the fullness of what God has already done for us in Jesus Christ. And this always reminds me of...